Hello booktube and welcome back to my channel. I am Sarah. This is Aussie SFF, my sci-fi and fantasy booktube channel. And today I'm bringing you a mini haul. <laughs> been very good I haven't ordered or bought much it's mostly it's 60% secondhand books a couple of days ago well a couple of weeks ago I embarrassed myself by tripping over a chair in a classroom so in order to heal my woes I ordered the next one that I needed in the nice hardback autograph editions of the Terry Pratchett uh, Discworld books and that is The Fifth Elephant. I have read this book, I read it earlier this year, but I want them on my shelf because they're ever so pretty. And that this one is red, um, has red gilding on it and I just, I just love these ones so much. Next, uh, when I went out looking for toys to remodel uh, on my secondary channel, which is Aussie SFF Crafts, which is linked on my, well, I'll put the link below. I also found, haha, -ha, the um, Murakami books, Hard Boiled Wonderland at the End of the World, and Kafka on the Shore, and these are. I don't think anyone's read these, to be honest, because there is no scuffing, no nothing. So that was a, I wasn't going to leave them behind just because I was out secondhand shopping for something else. Uh, next in the Twisted Tale series that I've been collecting is the Let It Go series. What if Anna and Elsa never knew each other? Uh, I can't say I'm anticipating reading this one because I'm not controversial opinion a big Frozen fan uh, it's not my kind of Disney princess movie these days so um, that's not to say new ones aren't mine I absolutely love my favorite princess and I'd only decided this recently I've never had a favorite princess before oh grumble uh, is Vanellope Von Schweetz from the Wreck-It Ralph series. So, uh, yeah, I just, I just, but I had to have it because it's in the series. Lastly, I, um, of course went secondhand shopping with my mum during the school holidays and I could not pass up and she bought it for me. Um, the annotated Alice, Louis, um, and this has Ooh, let's have a look underneath. I have had a look underneath. Oh, this has not only the annotations for different historical uh, versions of the book, but it also has different uh, woodcuts and the different uh, pictures from the different editions. So this is um, Margaret Truant from 1916's version and of the Amok Turtle. There we go. A beautiful one. Arthur Ruckman's uh, When They're Painting the Roses Red from 1907. And that is just gorgeous. Which is the vast majority of the reason why I buy different versions of Alice in Wonderland books is for all the different old illustrations. I just found more. Aren't they gorgeous? So that's from 1916 and 1905. The 1905 one's kind of creepy. Oh, but that is gorgeous. In McCraig, McCaig, 
uh, from 2001. It looks very much like inspired by Jim Henson's work. Absolutely love this. Have to give this a, a peruse again soon. So that was my haul. <laughs> very small mini haul for October so if you like any of these are your favorite especially if it's Alice uh, hit me up in the comments give me a like and a subscribe if you haven't already and happy reading bye